I'm Malaya here at IT Supplies, and today I'm going to show you how to make a blanket using the Epson Sure Color F9470H. So first I come over to Epson Edge and I bring my image in as such. I then want to go over to my basic settings so I can choose my media size roll. I am using a 64 inch roll just because my image and my blanket are really, really large. So I want to make sure that I have enough space on there. I am using 80 gram paper, and that's gonna be for fabric material because we're doing a blanket. And I have it on a pretty high uh, quality setting. So 720 by 720 DPI is a great way to start. Then you wanna go over to your layout. Because of how large the blanket is, we wanna ensure that we have at least two inches on each side um, just to accommodate the size of the blanket and making sure that we're getting edge to edge. So that's the reason why we have it so big here, a 62 by 52. Now, we wanna make sure that our image is mirrored and that check mark is on, just to make sure that when it comes out and we lay it down, it looks just the same on screen as it does on our blanket. Now, because we're not doing any special color settings or color replacements, um, or any type of tiling as well, we're actually ready to print. And you can press print, which will rip and print the job at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and send that over. Now I have a printed image, a blank blanket, and on our Practics OK 10 CP, I have tissue paper on top and some butch paper on the bottom just to protect our belt and to protect our, gar our actual uh, blanket here. So I'm going to set this up and then I'm going to grab our image real fast. Now I've set up my image and my blanket. And as you can see, it's now feeding. You'll be able to see the finished product soon. And there you have it, a finished product, a pretty horse blanket in the meadows. So just remember when you are making a blanket as such, you want to make sure that you have parchment paper, some butch paper to protect your heat press, a blank, as well as your heat settings being at 400 degrees for 60 seconds, and you'll have the perfect product. Thanks so much for watching this. If you would like to see more of these videos, please go to our YouTube channel.